Hey guys, it's Lauren from the blog RusticHoney.com and today I wanted to just take you along with me as I thrift and shop for an upcoming 4th of July party. I'd love to show you some things that I found and ways I would like to incorporate them into my party just to maybe give you some ideas and inspiration. Um, and also it's just kind of fun to go along antiquing because I don't know about you, I don't actually get to do this very often. So hopefully you'll enjoy the ride today and be excited about what comes together. All right, so if you've been hanging around my channel for any amount of time now, you know that I love antiques, I love repurposed items, um, and when I am going thrifting or antiquing, I'm always looking for pieces that are not only perfect for the season that I'm in, but something that can also be used in my home decor throughout the year. So I'm looking today for a lot of red, white, and blue inspiration, but also red and white pieces that I could also repurpose maybe as we turn the corner for Christmas so or for Valentine's Day. I'm often looking for those pieces that I could repurpose in many different ways. I liked these baskets. I felt like there was a lot of different things you could do with them for a party um, as far as putting your snacks and things inside of them, bags of chips, and I also liked these lanterns for outside. I thought you could really make a cute tablescape outside maybe with some citronella candles thrown into the mix too just for that 4th of July um, functionality. And then those little buckets I loved as well, but lots of different things to incorporate into tablescapes outside. And I was really just looking for the pieces that gave me the most bang for my buck, but I wanted to show you lots of little um, things that I liked along the way. This little blue stool was super cute. I don't know why I'm always attracted to furniture in antique stores, but I always have to make sure it's something perfect before I, I dive in because you can only have so much furniture. I thought this little quilt was really cute. Um, just as a little decoration for the 4th of July, but obviously any time in the summertime, I thought that was a really cute little piece as well. And any blue and white dishes, I actually don't have very many of those, but I think they're perfect for summertime, springtime, and could incorporate them in lots of different ways. I found lots of canisters, and I just wanted to show you what some of the prices were here at the antique store, but these were, if you watched my patriotic decoration video, I did use those quite a bit in my decoration. I'll try to link to that video up here in the cards. I was very tempted by this little George Washington tin. Tin tin. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. But again, I feel like I would really only use it around the 4th of July, so I ended up passing, but it's still on my radar. I may have to go back and get it. This sign, although not antique, was completely a thrift um, uh, impulse purchase, if you will. I just felt like it would be perfect on my little popcorn stand that you guys saw in the Sandlot video I did recently, and I would have loved to also have this Coca-Cola cooler. Um, if any of my loved ones are watching this, I would love that for a Christmas gift. <laughs> Lanterns are always um, something that I'm always drawn to, as well as bells. If these would have been brass or bronze bells, I think I would have gotten them because I feel like they're perfect at Christmas time too, but with a little bit of some, maybe some material or little primitive plaids, I feel like it could be really cute. I don't know why I was also drawn to these little lard buckets because I felt like they could be really cute with your utensils in them, napkins and things, because we are having a pulled pork barbecue and the red, white, and blue. I don't know why. I was just kind of drawn to those. I actually don't even know how old they were, but um, I thought they were cute. And then this little caddy was just kind of caught my eye and I thought it was a steal for only $9. So I actually ended up grabbing this one and I'll show you at the end um, some ideas that I have for it. These ketchup bottles were also really cool. Um, I don't know what era these are from, but I really loved the shape and then the stars at the top. I thought that was really cute, but just not the investment that I was ready to make for that day. There was lots of primitive and handmade things in some of the booths in the store too, so I was just getting all the patriotic vibes as I moved through the spaces, but some of these were so cute. I really liked this little square stars and stripes. I felt like just the simplicity of that one, I was really tempted to grab that one too. I also don't know what you call these stars, but um, I thought they were really cute and they had several of them. I was kind of tempted to grab all of them and make like a little focal point at our party, but I do have a big star so I'm going to try to use that for our party and I'll show you how it turns out. This little lamp was very tempting too. I may have to go back and get that for our bedroom um, and just put like a little puck light in it or something because I feel like that could be really cool, like a little battery light. 
again with the stars here and more of like a heavy duty one that one was a little bit more tempting i'm also a sucker for anything coca-cola i think coca-cola boxes and all of that is so cute for the fourth of july and just has that nostalgic feel to it so if you have a coca-cola collection i would be breaking that out every fourth of july because i think that would be really cute with all the red white and blue um, in hindsight, I don't know what this blanket is below this sign, but I don't know why I was distracted by the sign and not that cute blanket underneath. I may have to go back. <laughs> I also love these little enamel dishes. I didn't see any prices on these, but I was very tempted by those too because I think they're also cute at Christmas time with the red and white. So again, I'm always looking for red and white pleat pieces or pieces that I can use in different seasons so that I, because I don't know about you, I don't have a huge storage room where I can put all of my home decor. So I always want it to be functional year round or for different seasons. And um, I was just so tempted by so many things. <laughs> I love shopping, but I love thrift shopping, but I especially love it if I have a purpose for the season or a certain thing that I'm looking for because it helps me to stay focused and not just buy all the things. Like this really cute little display box. Um, I don't know if this was what they say it was, but I thought it was adorable. Um, it says it's an antique red painted glass display case, and I just thought it was so stinking cute. Speaking of so stinking cute, my favorite little coffee shop for Philly's Mercantile happened to be open next door, so of course, why would I not go in and get a coffee and continue to do a little patriotic shopping and get some inspiration in here? If you are around these parts, definitely pop in to this little mercantile outside of Lowry City, Missouri. Um, these little clay handmade earrings are so adorable. Look at these little, look at those. Oh my gosh, I was so amazed, so cute. And of course you can shop my business inside of uh, this coffee shop as well. We, we put all of our t-shirts and new arrivals in there, so I always check on those things while I'm there. This little red, white, and blue apron caught my attention. I thought that was really cute and just like a timeless be timeless little thing to have or gift for someone at the 4th of July. And I was super tempted by this pillow. So stinking cute. And for only $11.95, a handmade pillow. Absolutely adorable. And then I also really liked the stars. I thought those were really great inspiration for things to sprinkle on the tables or put on the open shelving for the 4th of July. I thought those were super creative and I loved the raw edges as well. And then getting into these um, placemats and table runners, but some really awesome craftsman craftsmanship here. Um, but I just really love that. I think that would be really cute hanging on the wall too. On to get my coffee <laughs> or ice cream. I don't know. It's like, oh, what do you do? What do you do? I ended up getting an iced cold brew concoction. I am what you could call a frequent flyer at Four Billy's Coffee Shop, but for some reason, I still like to change it up all the time. I'm always trying new coffees in there. So good. Anyway, we had our trailer parked outside this past week, so I just thought I'd show you a few snippets of our 4th of July merchandise and our sale going on outside right next to the antique shop. It was super convenient for me to get a little bit of antique shopping done. Now I'm headed home, and I'll be sure to show you guys what I ended up with here in just a minute. Oh, and as I'm loading up, I have to show you my cute new purse that I just got. This is from, from Rebecca Scott Designs, which is a handmade, amazing bag line from South Dakota. They are so great with their quality. You pick your fabrics, you pick your zippers, you pick all of the things. You get to cre like create it and design it yourself, and then they sew it all together. My favorite parts, though, have to be the functionality because there are so many pockets. We're talking like 10 at least 10 pockets in this one purse. And then I had to hit up the bake sale too. These were called Cook Sisters, and I believe they said they were a South African treat, but they were so stinking good. They kind of reminded me of a homemade donut, but absolutely delicious. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I'm gonna kind of leave you on a cliffhanger this week because I want you to stick around and see how I use all of this at my 4th of July party, but just adding a little flag to that little caddy made it come to life in my kitchen, but I have plans for it at my party as well. I ended up with this stoneware and this little candlestick for our bedroom, so that was kind of not exactly 4th of July related, although I think I'll use the stoneware for the party as well with a little American flag. I got a blue book and a red book to incorporate into some items for the 4th of July party. And then again, that homemade sign, I'm definitely going to use that 
on the cart that I used for our sandlot party. I'm just trying to decide if it's gonna be popcorn or peanuts or homemade pies. I'm not sure, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I would love for you to stick around and see what's gonna happen next. And these, I do have a plan for these, which I'm super excited about. And I feel like I can use these in any season. So hang out with me again, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you had a good time thrifting with me today, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye guys.